Yo, what's going on with squad? It's your boy Roman Ziggy. I'm back here with another video. And today, we're here with Corday. Okay? For Bill. No, basically from a bird's eye view. Freestyle. The Heart Part 4 official music video now. It's like this. Sorry if I'm talking a little monotone, but I'll try to get out as I can. But basically with this one Now if y'all Y'all already know that we're gonna You know who comes in and such But either way, like I was trying to say With this one from a bird's eye view freestyle We all know that the The album is coming up in On the 14th so In about what day is it? The 10th. So, in about 4 days actually, that album's gonna drop and hit. It's like this. Everybody knows that this nigga Corday, ever since when he decided to split from YBN, we all know his career was gonna go up and such. And hell, he. He got the permission from him because we always thought because when we heard from Super when he like maybe dropped YBN I thought it was like a disc or so but nope he said in an interview about how they, that he got Nami's blessing and such and he did what he did but either way I'm trying to make this short and sweet because it's like this y'all I got a lot more videos to record so and I just did one with Breathing Boy and Ty Wow. Make sure y'all go check that one out first. But either way, we're gonna check this one out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. By the way, would that to say that when the album fully drops, live stream. Y'all better stay tuned. For Probably come in like a yeah. Uh, January fourteenth. Get y'all shit together, nigga. Oh, oh, y'all really took the bait too. Y'all really took the bait too. Like, uh, now nah, I got y'all. Yeah. Uh, who would have ever imagined a fathom that we would actually make it off of rapping? Uh, I had a feeling that this all would happen. God's yeah. timing is perfect. The last sound was about finding your purpose. This one start with winding my verses. You'll find a deeper. Mm. The last song was about finding my purpose, which was super. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it was probably it was super. My mistake. If you haven't go check out my reaction to that, like I said, like. That one was talking about purpose, now this one Perfect, is... the last sound was about finding your purpose This one start with winding my verses You'll find a deeper message Been this way since my preconception Before lethal yeah. weapon Before I would tour Gerard Higgins Before I was tripping Before I exited mental prisons Before the auditions, y'all all fake I use you niggas as bait Okay, that's law eight Belief in myself, that's raw fate I've been seen through y'all moves Okay, that's spy gate I love to gamble with high stakes And learn from every loss that I take from every loss that I take and trust me we've all been there that anytime when we made one or two mistakes no matter how little or big it was we try to learn from it and move the hell on cuz nigga that shit can haunt you for life. I use you niggas as bait, okay, that's law eight. Belief in myself, that's raw fate. I've been seen through y'all moves, okay, that's spy gate. I love to gamble with high stakes and learn from every loss that I take. My mistakes are beautiful. Twitter nigga in the office cubicle commentating no black music. How foolish you must have just skimmed through it. How mm. basically saying that people who always be on social media and such tweeting about how music, black music especially, like nigga. That's why, that's why most uh, most people who are out there won't appreciate good music. Cause instead of y'all wanting to turn up to non like rappers that are like based upon social media trends and such, you don't want to listen to the real authentic artists out there like Corday and such. Hell, like Polo G, like 
freaking King Vaughn and such cause and others and so cause them right there the three I just named the three I just came up to Corday, Polo G and King Vaughn they like give you stories and such cause a lot of times you don't get that in music today in like the mainstream wise you don't get like a lot of people talking about that you mostly hear them talking about either partying killing or doing what this and that or having a lot of females not saying nothing wrong in it hey it's a vibe and all but sometimes you gotta slow sometimes you gotta really if you want to really go deeper than like just life and such Start myself that's raw fate i've been seen through your moves okay that's spot gate i love to gamble with high stakes and learn from every loss that i take my mistakes are beautiful twitter nigga in the office cubicle commentating no black music how foolish you must have just skimmed through it how could you relate to it the type of niggas i hate uh worldwide tours i'll be filling rooms i do it for the kids that be feeling doomed uh, Pills and shrooms all still consumed. Pitchfork writers born with a silver spoon. This that heat seekers for the deep thinkers. I might take a trip to LA leakers. I might press the button and end discussion of who's the best. Under 25 and lay that conversation to rest. Even under. Mm, under 25 and lay that conversation to rest. Hey, he under 25, so trust me. He go. He. His career right now is a gushing of who's the best under 25 and lay that conversation to rest. Even under 30, I was young and dirty, getting money early. Uh -huh. Hickory Hill apartments, one bedroom, one bed shared with four people, no leg room, futon couch. My mom and little broke a vouch. Uh -huh. Hard times make it, man. Real. I was 15 taking Zans, dropping mixtapes and creating plans. Manifestation, God's creation. My step pops is in the nation. Learn moderation, uh -huh. learn discipline. No Christmas gift. Woods like fuck Saint Nick. My flow ridiculous. Time. And you see how he's like telling a story while he's doing this freestyle. Like nigga, who you know can also tell it like can tell a story but all but also doing it like off the head and such. Well not technically off the dome and such, but basically like can memorize it and help. Even throwing a little one right there that you didn't even think was in your freestyle, but it is. In plans, manifestation, God's creation. My step pops is in the nation. Learn moderation, learn discipline. No Christmas gift. Woods like fuck St. Nicholas. My flow ridiculous. Time is limited upon this earth. Before the death and after the birth. From a bird's eye view, my third eye grew. For sure I knew I was destined to do this shit. January 14th coming sooner than expected. My mind is hectic, thoughts eclectic. At times I felt disrespected by the John Rock. Trust me when I say this, December 14th, when that day comes, nigga, he gon' shh. It's like this. When J. Cole and that from last year announced about his album and such, a lot of people was on that shit. And they was listening, listening to that shit. So when his job, and he's still young in the game, trust me. People are gonna tune into his shit. Time is limited upon this earth Before the death and after the birth From a bird's eye view, my third eye grew For sure I knew I was destined to do this shit January 14th coming sooner than expected My mind is hectic, thoughts eclectic At times I felt disrespected By the genre I love uh. Fuck you niggas, only God could judge January 14th from a bird's eye view I reassure what you already knew On January 14th Okay, cool, uh, this is for back in the days Before the accolades packing the stage This fame shit was a slap in the face Cutting fathom people while idolized rapping was fake Imagine the way you carry from Having information that could bury him Hold up, hold up, hold up He just switched up the flow all of a sudden What the hell? This nigga went from Doing from a slow beat now To like a more sinister type beat What the hell? He just he went from saying he's trying to talk with y'all and such, he's just trying to sit down and have a conversation to y'all, to now this side where he's like, nigga, shut the 
fuck up and sit down. <laughs> That's how, that's how okay, cool. Uh, this is for back in the days before the accolades packing the stage. This fame shit was a slap in the face. Cutting fathom people were idolized. Rapping was fake. Imagine the way you carry from having information that could bury them. I'd rather not say. Continue to give you the real from an accurate place. They kill niggas just for speaking the truth. A hypothermic. Repeat the message. You hear that? And that be true. Trust me. They kill niggas for speaking the truth. What y'all can say? Tell me that's not true, cause a lot of times when rappers in the industry be talking about stuff that happens in the industry, what happens to them? They either get silenced or they never get heard from again. In the way you carry from having information that could bury them, I'd rather not say, continue to give you the real. And you have information, and you hear, you hear that part right there. Have information on them that could bury them, but you'd rather not say. Cause it's like this, we Jamaicans, and if y'all are Jamaican, y'all, y'all always heard us say this, hear and deaf, see and blind. Basically saying that even though we hear a lot of stuff about people and such, we, we just pretend like we don't hear nothing, just go deaf and such, and when we see something and so that it's suspicious, we just pretend like we blind and such and we just keep on going but make sure you still have it in your head that you got basically that you got dirt on somebody this fame shit was a slap in the face Cutting fathom people were idolized Rapping was fake Imagine the way you carry from Having information that could bury them I'd rather not say Continue to give you the real From an accurate place They kill niggas just for speaking the truth A hypothermic nigga could heal From all this fucking heat in the booth The season the reaping the fruits That I labored for A workman is worthy of his hire I'm only inspired by legacy and early desires I'll admit it I'm far from perfect I'm shallow but far from nervous I get a dopamine spike for every car I purchase What is the truth my nigga we all are searching uh, one. Mm, What is the truth nigga We all are searching Cause a lot of people think that they know the truth But really There are more people out there who think They know who the truth is And in reality We don't know what the truth is We really don't We come up with many other reasons For what the truth is But just for real or real and such Like if you heard everybody say What their part of the truth is it's not gonna sound the same. I'm nervous, I get a dopamine spike for every car I purchase. What is the truth, my nigga? We all are searching. Uh, 114, the album is soon to come. Uh, my future set in stone, my peers, I fear none. Never. Straight up off the lyrics, it's clear, I'm tier one. Your uh -huh. favorite artist catalog just tears my eardrum. Stop. Please, stop. Mm. Tier one, the page, like a page, like a tier list and such. Tier one. Mm. And he's tier, and your favorite rapper tears the eardrum. <laughs> Hold on, how he said it? The lyrics clear, I'm tier one. Your favorite artist catalog just tears my eardrum. Stop Please ear stop drums. the comparisons. God is embarrassing. Straight out of Maryland, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. My nigga Cam told me it's time to take over. Uh, My nigga Ian Styles and drives a Range Rover. Real. But fuck that, right back to it. This the hijack music. Your style more common than Iraq shootings. A fuck. nigga don't. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Well, well, fuck that. Right back to it. This the hijack music. Your style more common than Iraq shootings. And Your style is more common than Iraq shootings? God damn. Hey, for a lot of people who's. If you ever would come onto my channel, you mostly see me reacting to nerdcore music. Don't get me twisted. I love the nerdcore music scene. Straight up, without a shadow of a doubt. But I'm just saying. <laughs> We need to hear more of these type of rappers in the mainstream. Like, we need to hear these more often. Because, nigga, a lot of just keep talking about the same money, drugs, and such. You don't have somebody who wants that hunger. That they want it. Like, they don't want to reach the likes of, like, Eminem, Kendrick, J. Cole, Biggie, Tupac, and so on and so on and so on. Snoop and so on and such, right? They don't want to reach the levels of that. They just want to get money, buy jewelry, get cars, women, and all that, right? They always want to focus on that in this type of generation. But you really get people from this generation, like J like Corday and such, who really wants to build a legacy for themselves. Because they know the money and such is always going to come. But if they want to put their name at the 
history up as one of the greatest in hip hop, they need to want to build up more. They need to put their pen in. Real but real. fuck that, right back to it This the hijack music, your style more common than Iraq shootings A nigga don't want war with me, you not that stupid Black Air Forces, my energy, attack their sources I can diss the whole rap game and fill it with corpses Shut out my nigga, three in currency, still in New Orleans I can see a war is coming, this feeling's enormous It's time to kill these niggas, man Let's go, my catalog's flawless, your last album was garbage A competition shooting themselves happens too often My only regret was I couldn't dig up your coffin From a bird's eye view, I reinsured what you already he knew one two three four five i'm the best rapper under 25 and this ain't saying much just no surprise but they don't give you your flowers till you die fuck your First week sales predictions and your failed conviction uh, Free my nigga Mac and Simba up in the prison December. Rest assured soon all of my niggas is winning This is just the beginning Motherfucker I'm coming uh, From a bird's eye view January 14th Fasten your motherfucking seatbelts niggas Get y'all fucking shit together man Garbage ass niggas Stop Georgia. fucking Ooh. Hey, Say less Do you more You recording? Let's get it can I put this sign on the door? Close the door. <laughs> Close the door. Okay. Y'all see what I mean? Y'all already know. If you saw me looking that way, y'all already know. But, you heard him. You heard him, man. Buckle up your seat, bros, cause nigga. This about to be some shit that you have never seen before. You about to start off 2022 with some major ass heat. But hey y'all, like I said, when that album drops, be on the lookout for that shit. And also be on the lookout for me to react to that shit, cause brother, We about to be in for a ride. See y'all later.